హలో ఎవ్రీబడి వెల్కమ్ టు యాస్ జేపి టుడేస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ గౌరవ్ ఫ్రమ్ పూణే మహారాష్ట్ర బట్ హీస్ స్టడీయింగ్ ఇన్ పబ్లిక్ పాలసీ ఇన్ అజిమ్ ప్రేమ్ జీ యూనివర్సిటీ గౌరవ్ ప్లీజ్ గో హెట్ హలో సార్ గౌరవ్ దిస్ ఫై ఫ్రమ్ అజీమ్ ప్రేమ్ జీ యూనివర్సిటీ ఐ హ్యాడ్ అ క్వశ్చన్ రిగార్డింగ్ రివర్ ఫ్రంట్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా so these involve significant amount of concretization and basically these reduce the carrying capacity of these rivers and then this leads to flooding which adds to the existing problem of urban flooding the concretization also reduces the groundwater recharge capacities so uh, i would like to understand why is the government promoting such sort of uh, river front development projects i understand there is an incentive for the urban local bodies in uh, improving this sort of infrastructure because they get the revenue from the additional land which is uh, concretized as of now but then at the cost of what is it at the cost of the uh, urban flooding the biodiversity losses the issues with the ecological and environmental flows of the river what is it thanks a lot thank you gaurav gaurav lovely bird chirping you know in the background very pleasant to hear gaurav is obviously concerned like many of us about the environment about groundwater recharging uh, and so on and so forth is true in urban management today there is enormous flooding because of bad management of the cities but i am not sure if preventing the waterfront development riverfront development in big cities or, or urban areas is necessary or is a solution the problems in general in river management are real if you deforest the area or if you concrete the area across the board obviously there is no time for the water to sink in and therefore the moment there is rainfall there is flooding flooding becomes much more likely then erosion of soil also takes place with heavy flooding and biodiversity may also may be affected but you are talking about only the small course of a river a short course of a river in a city or a town in a whole catchment area the area you are talking about is minuscule in the larger picture and the benefits probably far outweigh the costs not only the land and the land value look at the water sports or the entertainment or leisure industry because wherever you go in the world without a water body leisure industry tourism entertainment will not uh, will not really thrive and even within the city forget in tourism for people to have uh, lovely places look at the world we are not alone in the world see in river if you see the pictures about 100 years ago photography was available even then 100 120 years ago it was terrible it was full of slush and mud and filthy and mosquitoes and insects and rodents were common what did they do they trained the river today anybody who walks on the banks of the sian river enjoys it immensely it's one of the greatest attractions by training the river you are actually improving the flows reducing the flooding and you are also using it for river transport same thing is the case with the thames river in london or you think of danube across many countries in europe it flows or even the potomac in uh, washington dc you know during lincoln's time the literature shows how the president and many other cabinet ministers others they suffered from the fetid odor emerging from uh, this terrible swamp called potomac river by training the river you actually improved the quality of life and the problems that we mentioned are generic problems if you completely remove the catchment area if you remove the forest cover if you remove the top soil and if you concretize it but again let me repeat in the large picture of the total catchment area of a river the river front development occupies only a very very small tiny proportion and the benefits far outweigh the costs or the difficulties and water uh, recharging you don't have to worry about uh, the river front the rest of the city you can recharge in the apartments where this office is located we have taken up uh, water recharging now musi is a river flowing through hyderabad 
You don't have to wait for the water to go up to Musi for uh, groundwater recharging. Everywhere in a decentralized and niche colony, niche apartment complex, if you appropriately take the steps, you can recharge it and aquifers are filled. So I think while the generic problem stated by Gaurav are real, there is no need for conflict between riverfront development for a lot of commercial, entertainment, leisure and tourism purposes versus protecting the nature. World over, we have umpteen examples. They're protecting nature. They're also enjoying the beautiful water courses. I think we need to do that too in India.